Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. <clears throat> I just did a little Amazon haul, but y'all know me, it was forever and a day, so I thought I would do this separately. This is a, well it needed to be separately. Look, I showed my little eBay purchase. Look, I got this for $9.50, and he's big. So not the cutest little lamby planner you have ever seen, ever. I will probably put succulents in him for Easter and put him in my window, but for now, or may not, for now he's holding my, yeah, it's a he, he has his little blue bow. He's holding my stuff, but the scissors make me nervous. I'm... Look, if he survives since like 1950 or whenever, he's, he's gonna live through my scissors, but. He probably, sat, he probably just sat in somebody's window with a flower. He probably didn't have craft supplies shoved down his back. But Okay, so I'm sure most of you are aware of thriftbooks.com. But if you're not, you're missing out. And you need to know about them because whether it's for crafting or just reading for your own pleasure, um... It's I mean, the price is really amazing. It's free shipping over $10. And it says a lot of times like four to 10 days or something. And maybe my days just go really quickly. But I don't think it takes long to get here. And yes, it comes from different people. But I think, but um, that made me think. Like I just had an idea. Like could I sell my books through thrifts.com? Like my my books like that I've read or whatever and I are good books, but you know, like Nicholas Sparks put stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. I, look, I just trailed off y'all. Okay. So anyways, it's thriftbooks.com. Um, I will start with this one. So of course I was looking every year I purchase a, um, you know, I need a Holden book because I end up using it throughout the year or giving it away with my, journals you know I usually give you a page or two but I always just catch the small one it's smaller than this so I keep waiting to score the big one but then I don't want to pay the big it's not that expensive but it's more than I want to pay so anyways this is not Edith Holden but I feel like this person wanted to be Edith Holden if they come out after her because I mean it's very similar this was first published in 1985, so the limited edition was in 81. And this is going to be a hard one to tear up, but so was my first teeth of holding, but I did it. Um, this has a lot of Bible verses in it, so I'm really loving this one. Yeah, I'll be able to tear this because I'll know that someone will get it that needs that word at that moment. While the earth remaineth seed, time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Genesis. All thy works shall give thanks unto thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. Psalm 163, I think. Okay, so this is winter, this first page. So I guess it starts with winter, summer, I mean, winter, spring, summer, fall. These drawings are by Louis God. Gottfried Lawrence, 1887-1890. Well, maybe somebody was like, hey, that person published their mama. I'm going to publish my daddy. So, you know what? He wasn't copying her. It was just that style of, I mean, you know, like Bob Ross has a style. Well, Edith Holden had a style, and they all learned probably back then the same way. Yeah, the words of these pages are beautiful, seriously. The words in this one I like more, I think. But the, um, the other imagery is just as beautiful. In fact, most people will probably want to correct me if I'm flipping through. <gasps> There's daisies. They'll want to just say, that's, that's seed of holding. But it's not. It's, it's this person. I wouldn't want to say that. I would be like... That's Edith Holden, but it's not. I would probably argue with somebody over it if I just didn't see them. <laughs> it, well, if I hadn't seen, well, I've only had one of her books. It's the country, oh, 
Look, that makes me think I'm reading where the crawdads sing. That makes me think, if y'all read that book, does that not make you think of, that's, that's that right there, right there. That's where she, that's, that's her boat dock or whatever, you know, not a boat dock. Look at this one. Look, Maggie Holmes looked at this book. Um, yeah, the poetry's be. Oh, look at the little kids. Oh, y'all. So, this is beautiful. This is going to be a tough one. But that's okay. I, I can do it. Oh, anyways, I've never had an Edith Holden one other than just that that one. I think it's that Country Diary one or whatever. The, you know, the one with the flowers. Because either the others are too hot or maybe I've just never... Maybe they're always sold out, maybe. I don't... I think maybe that's it. I don't know. So, here's the seasons. I do not remember what I paid for this. I want to say that this I might have paid 12 to $15 for, maybe, for this. Which, that's going to be divided in a lot of ways, so that's fine. Um, this is Country Flowers of a Victorian Lady. Now, these are, I didn't order all these at once at different times, but that's the fun of thrift books. You can order, like, literally, this was three different times of orders. And you can do that because you don't have to. And you build up points, and then you get books free. So, this is just all about different flowers. Now, this one... When I was looking at it, I was like, man, that's going to be hard because, you know, like there's only one of each flower, kind of. So, I mean, look at those soft peachy roses. Like, I think I found one daisy page, and I was like, how am I going to... Look, if you get my daisy page, you... Oh, see? One daisy page. You're special because... Oh, let's see. Sometimes I can't really read this um, typography or whatever you say. So anyways, there's this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I ordered this thinking, and this is by Fanny Roberts Robinson. Isn't she an author of um, fiction... No, that's Fanny something else. How many Fannies can there be? Look, I'm not making fun of y'all. My name's Renita. And my grandmother's name was Minnie Arbazina, so I'm not making fun of you if your name is Fanny. I'm just saying. You know. So, here is... I just took a chance on this. I was like... And I didn't know it was this big, so I was excited, but... See, I mean, it was originally twenty four ninety five, but I don't, I need to find what I paid. I don't think I paid, but like $9 maybe for this, maybe eight. It wasn't much. It was, it was under 15. So, and I, it says Annette Mitchell. It's not Edith Holden, but look, it's Edith Holden. So I'm confused, but the only thing is, really thought about gifting saving this for my sister for her birthday because she's never had an Edith Holden but but then again I thought about using these Edith Holden well I shouldn't call it Edith Holden because you know but y'all have seen Edith Holden and I'm confused but anyways so what it is is when I look through this one these are some 80s cheese oh look she's supporting the gloves too i would hang those on my wall and i have that pillow actually similar thrifted but i don't know if i can go so far back if i get that collar i'm cutting it up and journaling it i'm not gonna wear it so what it is is each month has um things you can make but they're called things like that did not make sense like yeah, January's frost crystals. Um, it shows you how to do a tatted collar. But see, these are pretty too in books. I'll show you what I'm trying to. I have an example. I have an example. Let's see. So, oh, I know. I guess they're all called something's what I noticed. Like, 
like a flower or something like this is called primrose willow catkins like that's what this is called but it, that's actually pretty okay see i would contemplate hanging that in my bedroom for decoration slash wearing it and everybody ragging me or cutting it up that would be a hard one for me and i wear stuff like that in my hair all the time so it's named, the things are named um, things like Willow Catkin. I mean, you know, they're named like, that name's kind of weird to me, but you know, whatever. So March, it's the same March as in he's holding, but this is called Two Thrushes Nest. Why they put the two, maybe because of their sweaters. I don't know why it's called that. I'm kind of confused. Violet Woods and Daffodil Fields. Oh, look, see, I love these, th y'all, I would so buy these pillows. Oh, I would not cut them up. I would put them on my couch. I have a couple vintage pillows. I have a coat hanger like that, too. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay. Anyways, I probably should just get on with it and then ask y'all if you want me. And see, I always skip the snake page in March. I never use it, won't use it, don't like it. I've covered it up, flip it upside down, whatever. But this made it look, um, look, that's how Satan is. He makes things look appealing. But I, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm just saying this. Oh, I didn't want to see it. But like, see, like, they make it look like, you know, there's a butterfly above it, and it's called Viper, Child's Knitted Sweater. Oh, and Snake Toy. Why are you going to wrap a sweater around your arm like a snake? Is that what the... Ooh, I can't look at it. Okay. Look, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. <gasps> See this? Y'all probably do not care, and y'all are like, girl, ask if we want to flip through. Look, isn't she pretty? She's just sitting there in her little shoes and her dress and her sweater that matches her dress that's a little too matchy matchy for me but she can pull it off with her hat because i love me some hats i have a lot of hats y'all of all kinds from ball caps to fancy hats to hats i've worn to church to i love some hats um let's see that bedspread, I would also use. That's beautiful. I would not cut it up. I would not. This is the problem if you're a junk journaler and you like vintage things. Is you want to keep some of the things and not cut them up. And then you're like, but I need an old quilt. And you're like, but I'm not cutting this old quilt up. Look at this dragonfly um, cross stitch. I used to cross stitch, fun fact. These little swallows. Water lily. Oh, see, it turns all of her f thing. Oh, there's a junk journal, y'all. It turns all of her things into other things, like Daisy. You know, it gives you the the um, not recipes. <laughs> can't think the pattern to do the things. So, like there's smocking, doll clothes. Oh, fun fact. When I learned to, sn to, sn to sew years ago in the 10th grade, we won't talk about how long ago that was. Um, first thing I sewed ever was the baby doll dress. And we sewed an apron, I think. But I know I did a baby doll dress. I remember. Probably have it somewhere. So, getting into November, it has dried flowers. Oh, 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 dried flower trinket box. Look at those dishes. I didn't see this month. Look at that light fixture. See, y'all, I'm not a good flip through person. Look at the little toadstool. <laughs> I need to give this to my mama and get her to make that. That looks like a, um, does it not look like a gnome? Because it looks like it's his nose. If you could put fur down there. Should probably catch on fire if you actually used it for uh what you call it y'all yeah, that is too cute <laughs> they knew it looked like a gnome that's why they had to put those big old mushrooms 
beside it. She is serious modeling that um, that Christmas. You know, that probably would actually be cool nowadays. I mean, I don't know. I would have to be very confident that night, but I don't know. I think some people could pull that off. I could see my mama so wearing it, which my mama, she'll wear Christmas wear of any kind, any time of the year, but look at the reflection of the tree, the Christmas tree and all the balls. Oh, it shows you how to make the little ribbon balls. Oh my goodness, how pretty. Look at the little Charlie Brown looking tree right inside their doorway. Oh. Okay, I know y'all. You're like, ooh, that's a pretty sweater. Y'all are just like, move on, Jean, move on. Okay, so there you go. There's there's that one. You're welcome. Okay. So, oh, well, we've made it through three. That's good. Okay. So these were a big surprise to me. These two came last night. And I think there's another one that's coming of some kind because these two did not equal $10. These were like $4 a piece, I think. Maybe $4.99. Maybe they did. But I think I ordered one more. But like I said, they're from different sellers, so they'll come in your mail, and you're like, oh, yay. And then the next day, you're like, oh, yay, because you forget. And then you just, it's kind of like Wish used to be, which I actually never ordered from my husband and kids. And they'd be excited because they forgot about it. Okay. So, for instance. Y'all, this is the little golden book of birds. This is the big book of birds. I didn't order, I ordered them thinking it was this because I love this book. I had no idea that when I got it, it was gonna be super sized, y'all, with the same photos. Same photos, y'all. Look. Look, is that little boy, he looks like a giant because in the other one, he's so little. Y'all, the illustrations, oh my goodness, look at that, look at that, look at that look. They're like fishing in the little white with the little, the little um, beaver just hanging out beside them. The little deer. Oh yeah, because the moose is really going to be right, right beside you and you not be scared. The possum, he's... It's daytime. That possum's supposed to be asleep. He looks scary, though, that possum. Little bunnies. Y'all, look. <laughs> Y'all can't. Look at all the little animals. Oh, my goodness. This, look. Look at, y'all. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. See, I haven't looked through this yet. I just glanced at, like, these images that I remembered. In the other book, I don't know that those other pictures were in that book or somebody's torn them out because but look at her face. Look. <laughs> My son, when he, he would sit there and probably watch frogs like that for days and at that age. <laughs> well, yeah, he'd be in there trying to catch them, I'm sure, but. So look at this little girl feeding this little deer. Oh my goodness. And look, they're just over here throwing rocks in the thing. Oh, you know why I've not seen this yet? And why I'm so excited? This is my big book of the outdoor. I've not seen this little golden book. That's why I'm so excited. Excuse my excitement. Okay, this is the one I've seen. I knew I hadn't seen some of those pages. I was like, am I crazy? Okay, 1958 was the last printing of this. So this is from the 1950s. And I think this one was as well. Um, 1958 and 57 before that. So, yeah. So, yeah, if you, you've probably seen this one, like the birds one. Like, for instance, this reminds me of my kids. So I've probably torn that page out. But if I haven't, okay, no, I haven't. See, like, I mean, let's just take a moment and see. So as a junk journaler, these are perfect pages. Like, it's like, oh my goodness. But you know, one day I keep thinking, now I'm getting at the age where, you know, I might be a grandma one day and stuff. And 
I'm like, it's so hard to cut these ones up now. Like, oh my goodness, like, Joanne, if you're watching, this is like, this hair was a little more red. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness. With the little chickadee birds. Anyways, I love this book. That's why I ordered it again. I love this image. I love, there's so many images in it. Look at this, look at this. There's so many images in here I just love. But, that's why I had ordered it again, thinking. So I was like, to my husband, I was all excited, and I was like, but you don't understand. This is different, like, oh my goodness, look at the difference. Like, I had to call somebody back in there, and he was the only person at home. And I'm like, come look at the difference of this book. And I said, this is a regular little golden book. This is this, and I did not know I was ordering this. And he said, no, he said, this was the poor people, like, we had a little golden book, and this was the rich people. <laughs> so, anyways, I was laughing. I guess so, because, oh, my goodness, look, at, look, in 1957, did I say? This was $4.95. This was 59 cents. This was 59 cents. In 1958, the same year. So my husband was right. <laughs> that's a big difference. <laughs> oh, that's a really big difference. Okay. So thank y'all for watching. <laughs> and if you were the kid that got the big one, congratulations. I was not being insulting at all. I think that was a funny comment. I was just being funny. And if you did not get that, don't feel bad because I, I didn't get the big ones either. I didn't even get too many of the little ones unless they were from a yard sale so <laughs> or no my sister my sister did get us books always so i will see you on the next one and you have a good day bye